Hi, I'm Mark Kornblatt, co-founder and host of Game of Drones. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm proud to be showing off our first product for sale, the one that we've been showing in all of our previous videos. I'm talking about, of course, the Hero Action Sports Airframe. Today, I'm gonna to show you what's in the box, some of the basic accessories and components that you can use with it, and the fundamental way that you assemble it to make it an indestructible drone. In addition to the top and bottom clamshell pieces of the airframe, you'll also get five gaskets, you'll get 28 zip ties, you'll get four specially made motor mounts, plus you'll get instructions and a bunch of swag. These motor mounts are critical for the assembly because the ones that typically come with motors are a little bit big to fit in our airframe. Therefore, we supply you with a set of four motor mounts as well as the files that allow you to 3D print or laser cut your own motor mounts in the future. We designed our airframe to work with virtually any flight controller and electronics available to the hobbyist or consumer. We're really happy with the NASA board. We like flying the KK-2 when we're doing battles, but we've also flown with the 3D Robotics PixHawks and APM when we're doing autonomous flight. There are other flight boards available, so whatever your preference is, it should work fine with our airframe. What's nice is that you can mount your flight board to the airframe just about any way you'd like. We use double stick tape or sometimes super strength Velcro, but other people have drilled a few additional holes and used mounting hardware or even zip ties to hold everything in place. The key is that you want to minimize vibration, so you want to make sure that your mounting takes that into account. Every brand of flight board offers its own software and setup procedures, and that's far too much information for us to go over here for those third-party components. So instead, we recommend that you go online and seek out the instructions that each of those manufacturers provide. The same convenience holds true for the rest of the components. When it comes to motors, we prefer uh, 2212s in about 1,000 kV, and there's a number of motors that are close to that spec on the market, ranging in price anywhere from as little as 10 or $12 all the way up to $20 and $30 per motor. Now that your electronics are installed and tested, and you've ensured that your motors are spinning in the proper direction, it's time to assemble the airframe using the hardware that we've provided in the kit. Starting in the middle of the airframe, pinch the two pieces of the clamshell together. Using the clamping action of the gasket, work your way around one of the arms until that gasket is entirely on the airframe, making sure that the flange is completely covered by the gasket. Once that gasket is in place, begin installing the zip ties, starting at the end of one of the arms and installing them one at a time until you reach the center. Be sure to cinch them down carefully and tuck the head of the zip tie underneath so that it doesn't stick out when you cut the excess off. Once you've done that to all four arms, you'll end up with something that looks like this, or more realistically, something that looks like these. Drones that are ready to fly using our indestructible airframe kit. Well, that's about all we have time for in today's video, but take a moment to like us, subscribe, or even join our Ning community. We have a lot of cool events coming up, a lot of great videos, and you're not going to want to miss them. From all of us at Game of Drones, I'm your host, Mark Kornblatt. Thanks for watching, and rotors up.